Welcome back to Popson. Hi, let's play some more Europa Universalis 4. We're playing as Gujarat. We're going for Keep the Flame Burning. We had to flip to Zoroastrian, uh, which we obviously are. And we uh, have to grab back our centers of faith. We have the one in uh, Demand that we started with. And uh, we now have the one in Sapsava. Kinda. It's on our subject. But that it's eventually it's going to be mine anyway. And the rest is uh, over here in Timmyland. Hopefully it's going to stay in Timmy land, but we, since we did that uh, bifurcation here of Timmy, it's quite possible that they will not um, stand up to the aggression of their neighbors. They already lost the war to QQ and got invaded by a moose of all people down here in that war. And uh, I can already feel the Uzbek planning to attack. <laughs> it's just, I can feel it. Anyway. Uh, we are not at war. We're not currently... Well, I said that. It's kind of considering a war in Multan. Um, the only thing that's stopped me, stopping me from doing it is the fact that they're allied to Jean Paul right now. Who's also my ally, which I don't necessarily want to lose. Ooh, that's a lot of force limit, actually. Should build some more troops while we're at peace. Kind of getting close to Miltech 13 when cannons start being okay at combat. I think I'm gonna give it another round of infantry, but after that, I think my next pickup is gonna be a bunch of cannons for the siege and for actual combat. We also fulfilled Gujarati textiles. We get uh, 20 years of cash money. Sure. It would be more efficient later on because Trade income and uh, production income are going to rise over time, but I think this is still fine. Now, what do we do with our admin? I could do what I did with the mill and take admin tech way ahead of time. I already hate doing it for mill. I really don't want to do it for admin. The good admin points. Would have the advantage of uh, getting us into a proper realm for our governing capacity, which would reduce coring cost, so we'd get a tiny bit of that admin back, I suppose. But that's just so little. And the rest of these, they're sure that numbers, I would like them to be not not be there, but they're not relevant. Hmm. Also, nobody took admin tech twelve yet. So we're actually, we, there's nothing pushing us. Can definitely take it at 40% and still get the bonus. I'm just get a year now to actually take it. Um, that means I should not be taking this tech. Means I need to spend my money on something else. What is that? Options are inflation reduction, which actually I might just click once. I don't like 2.6 inflation. And it's pretty cheap to reduce right now. And I have the admin, let's just do it. Also, we're not in the age of absolutism yet, so that didn't cost me any absolutism. That was probably the right choice. Ryukyu buying that knowledge from Ming. It's not like there's anybody wanting to buy knowledge from me, right? I'm not missing out any. Ooh, never mind. There's cash money to be made here. Coruscant and the Mamluks. How's the institution currently spreading? Who of you is more likely to get it soon? Um, which one? Colonialism is already spreading into Timmy Persia and into Khorasan. It's not spreading to the Mamluks, just eh, kind of is. I think I said it to Khorasan first. Then again, 1.15 targets from Coruscant. Six point, okay, fine. Here you go. <laughs> Buy my stuff. And once again, I wouldn't be sharing it like this if I if it wasn't spreading on its own. But it is, so I'd rather make money of it than not. Speaking of making money of it, I should probably spend money on making more money in the future. Even more mini factories. Money factories? Yes. Exactly what they are. Alright, 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 alright. I think my wanderer's done. 
didn't even get a pop-up for it, did I? Is it in shell? It is. No, it's not done. So. No, I didn't get a pop-up for it because it's not done. Not that I know that I would. What? Once again, question, what do I do with my admin, though? Um... Um, um, um. I'm not gonna buy inflation again. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I could do admin development, which is fine. Not nuts, but fine. Ooh, am I missing a policy here? No. Or. I mean, conquest, but I'm not. Actually, really in the position to conquer right immediately now. Uh, what about states and coring? Is there state memo? Yes, yeah, see, Madura is not a state. Sure, I'm over governing capacity, but that's just happens. I think that's a better spend of my admin right now. Not that it's tons. Mind you, <laughs> but it is some. Um, it is 94% of prosperity. Okay. It's like autonomy? No way. What does this do again? Uh, I mean, just government this cost by 20, it's great, but 100 government progress is, that's a lot. That's just a lot. Um, let's check on this breaking of the alliance again. How do you feel about it? Yes, you say? Mm, good old double dipping. I mean, I do it right. I break it and then I get my hands into some Multani stuff. Seems good enough to me. How's unrest looking? It is not. Which was, for once, is a good thing. Let's get you north. Let's also get you north. Thank. And then. I should... Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I was about to micromanage army size there, but I don't want to. So I won't. Yeah, let's break the alliance here. To Multan. And that should give me the ability to declare war without too much of an issue. Chanda buying knowledge from Tirhat. That's another reason. The more the institution spreads, the more people are likely to be able to buy the knowledge. Which obviously... It's not something we're looking for. I mean, from others, that is. Okay, let's finish up the idea group. Excellent. Bonus merchant. And I think at least one of production quota X, I think, really good. It's 20% goods produced. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And I'll also run the religiously sponsored guilds for another 10% goods produced and some missionary strength. That's pretty good. And I'll keep hitting these folks. And at this cost, it's not going to be worth um, turning on any edicts. Okay, you took... Somebody took the... Oh, you didn't. So they took the tech on January 1st. We have 365 days left. So the morning of January 1st next year is going to be the... Set this to zero, right? We have 364 mornings left, which are going to go down by one. And then it's going to be in the last day of December, it's going to be one day left. Does that mean that I can still click the button on January 1st next year? Don't think I can. I think it'll be gone. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It's gonna cost me extra 60 mark points to take the innovativeness if I want to. Pah. Couldn't you have waited a day? Just a single day. What's this? Two hundred two? Why two? 
Oh, I got one from my own idea thing as well. Is that what happened? Uh, ideas. I got one from finishing trade ideas, yeah, and one from finishing my own thing here. Ooh, I also get that 20% uh, extra trade power. So, two merchants to spend. Where do I want to be? I mean, it's almost certainly gonna have to be Bengal into Coromandel, right? Because the door up deck and route is just so much worse. And who's my other one? Is it Lhasa? There's just no money in Lhasa, though. Doesn't seem great. Can't get Samarkand or nearby down into Gujarat. So, Burma? Malacca. Well, there's tons of money in Malacca. But I have no trade power in Malacca. Which means the merchant is not going to do anything there. I suppose I put them in Burma for now. Because at least there we have a, an inland node. Which is funny because it's not, right? <laughs> this is clearly going across the sea, but it's considered an inland node, so I'll take it. Do I take the tech, though? If I'm about to declare war on Multan and spend a lot of admin on coring that, I think I don't. Forty percent is two hundred forty points. This is gonna reduce my coring costs, doubly so. It's gonna reduce my coring costs because we get the innovativeness, and it's gonna reduce my coring costs because we get the governing capacity. It's kind of good. Uh, how much will it cost me now? It will cost me seven hundred seventeen admin power. That means I end up going into the war with maybe barely enough to court the stuff we take. And then in 1550, I won't have any admin. Is that true? 10 years gives me a lot of admin. A lot of admin. I think it's actually fine. <laughs> as disgusted as, that, as I am by that. Ugh. I mean, I should just lean into it. It is happening. Back to trading in silk. And in gems for extra inflation reduction. I mean, I suppose I take it. Um, I can be here, actually. And you. Doesn't really matter. You're going to take attrition anyway. Um, when am I going to fight in addition to you? Chagatai and Ladakh, so just northerners. Okay. I could say that I shouldn't be doing this now then. But I mean, who are we kidding? <laughs> who are we kidding? Yeah, I'm going to attack. Dicke, check our states. Do I have to click buttons? No. When do I get to click buttons? 43, okay. Let's declare. I mean, we didn't break that alliance for nothing, did we? Holy war. Get in there. Get on there. Get on there. And then figure out the army setup once we're on the fort. Keep converting everybody. Keep grabbing more land that I can then, or well, that I will then have to convert. You still have troops now. I crushed all your troops. That's um, went kind of well, didn't it? Ok, 
kind of wondering what the greatest threat to us is this campaign now. But things are going obviously really well. Uh, not to jinx anything or anything, but uh, I mean, clearly we're doing quite well right now. What is the biggest threat? I mean, a huge coalition would be at least very annoying. I'm just not sure it's very likely. Because most of the people who really want to coalition me are kind of not powerful anymore. Or never were, in some cases. Which makes that threat a lot less of a threat, obviously. Then what else is there? I mean, Ottomans. If the Ottomans make a strong push east, then I'll have to run into them to deal with or to get the rest of my central faith, which is certainly a threat. I mean, we even outdid him being here in development. Eh, no, not in development, just because of the institutions, but still. And I'm not likely to have to tussle with Ming. It might happen, but still quite a few buffer states there between us and them. So I'm not actually worried about them. Hmm. Oh, that's actually a number of troops down there. I mean, not a high number, but a number nonetheless. Let's grab one of my sundry generals here. Let's grab the one with the two siege, because I might want to put the one with the three siege on this army. Just uh, crush stuff down, and then you folks can all go into Ladakh and take that down. Yeah, I don't know what else. We're not going to have to tussle with the Europeans, I don't think. I mean, there might be some colonizers arriving in like, somewhere down here. You're not Spanish, right? You're VJ. But like the Spanish might pop up or something, but surely they're not going to actually worry me anyway. I don't know. Without wanting to jinx anything, it does feel quite fine. As of this moment. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be in your debt. For some ducats? Come on. Is this my siege? This is not my siege. This is Gouge siege. Gouge siege. So I'm just going to leave. One siege of Multan. Good. Yeah, this should be. A fast war. What do you mean salt crisis? My name is production efficiency. How dare you take it from me? Oh, right, I still have tots. Uh, Jakan. Oh. I mean, yeah, you can all come in and try to fight VJ if that's what you want to do. What is this war, anyway? It is... Oh, the v third VJ Ari Conquest of Anki. <laughs> a donkey. Of a donkey? Uh, it's not a lot of help they're getting there, so VJ is... Oh, yeah, VJ is gonna, gonna rock their boats there. That's unfortunate, but... I mean, consolidation of power has its advantages. I mean, not just for the one who's consolidating, but also for me. Because then I have to fight fewer people, and I have to worry less about tons of people in coalitions. Uh, let's grab the prestige from missionaries. It's okay. I mean, we have a lot of prestige right now, but you know I tend to spend prestige to get rid of my heirs. Speaking of... Honestly? <laughs> Tempted to roll again. That's only eight pips. It's below average. Should have done it way earlier, but I forgot. Don't remember the last campaign where I rolled so aggressively for airs. Don't know if I ever did. Uh, get that guy, Nasir Khan. 
get, oh, get down there. And y'all, I mean, I suppose I merge and march on Chagatai. Just to speed up the end of this. Keep regenerating the prestige for me. Um, do I need... I kind of do. Attach. Move. Oh, I can't. Wait. Oh, Jakant must be in this war too. Are there a vassal of somebody? Who's vassal are you? Chagatai. Oh. Oh, well, Chagatai is a lot bigger than I thought they would be. But we're just this tiny thing, but they have a bit of Mongolian land. Which I didn't uh, reckon was a thing. Crush some more Multani. It's not a problem, it just means that I have to siege down Kashgar to be able to get there. I don't know how my subject got in there, but they did, didn't they? You better run. You can run, but hiding is not your strong suit. Down. Medic more. No, I might not have to siege any of this. Actually, if um, Korkor gets sieged down, and it looks like it's going to be sieged down very soon, then I should have... Wait, are you not moving? Now that's an air. So far. That's a lot of pips. What's that, 13? I'll take it. Is it 13? 12. It's a lot of pips still. Point is, once Tregatai has fought their faults, they're probably gonna be amenable to peace. Which is all I need. I don't need stuff from them. Just need a piece. I don't need a strong word. Just want a piece. Could probably just already piece out Motan for enough. But I like, come on, 71%. I like must have a good 100% peace deal. Okay, you folks. I don't think I have to deal with tons of unrest anywhere. No. So I think she's already going to tell you to march over to Timmy Land. Because that's certainly my next target. Something, something, development cost reduction. Okay. I suppose I'll take it. 90 investment was Oh yeah, there goes Chukatai. Now what can I do to you? You want separate piece me? Then I'll just separate, uh, then I'll just piece out Motan. Yes, it is. As it stands. What happened to Ladakh? They must have gotten eaten. Yeah, got eaten by Gouge. Very Gouge. Uh, what do I want from the Upej capital? <laughs> Uh, I'm probably going to do that, actually. Um, means that we're not taking Multan. But I think that's okay. Is it? <laughs> I could just go. Total ham on them. Something along these lines. Along with these lines, maybe. How much is fluid capital? We will gain for development. I don't know if that's what I want to do here, but it's certainly tempting. Just add a bunch of minus to put into coalition right now. Does add Chagatai essentially zero to hero there. Bunch of miners. It's Hormuz, Transo, the Uzbek. Makes a lot of angry people angrier, but 
that I don't mind so much. I don't love the editing of all those others though. I mean, I could. Ooh. What happened? Cornerstone's being pillaged? No, it's not. Or does it. Oh, it takes from the state. I thought I just took it from the capital. Pro, uh, capital yeah, province. Hmm. Whatever did something like this. Hormuz would be on it, but barely. And we don't add, well, we do add the auspex, barely. Transo, also barely. One fewer province? These are pretty good provinces, though. Hmm. I mean, there's certainly an argument for just taking Multan because it's a center of trade. And the extra war score cost is whatever. Then I don't get to pillage the capital, but you know. I mean, that's where the real cash money is at. It's also where the real cross expansion is at, of course. If I were to do something like this, I would probably peeve off everybody. Mm, yeah, that's actually quite fine. Okay, 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 okay. And then that's all the centers of trade you have, oh, except for Sir Hind, which I cannot take. Unless I go all the way around, which I won't. So maybe what I want to do is pitch that capital. We take it from the surrounding state, I suppose, uh, for me, if anything. Are we even on game two? Let's say three before, but now it's just two. Oh no, it loses three against two. Maybe something along these lines? What if I add like Deepalpur? Oh, that adds Transo and the Ospec. I don't want that. Oh, come on, game. It's being weirded out by the fact that I'm pillaging the capital and also taking provinces in the capital. That's what's screwing up the selection there. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe something like this, and then war reps and trade power? And a ducat? That actually seems fine. I think I'm okay with this. And we do get to pillage it a little bit at least. Just to make me happy. Spend 200 admin. Overextend, but we are fine. Yes. And reset the thing again. Did it? It did, right? Yeah. Really doesn't like the pillaging and the taking of land. I hope it's going to work. Right? I hope that doing this doesn't actually screw everything up. It says it's not gonna. It might just not give me these provinces or something. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out. Send this demand. I think it did give me the provinces. <laughs> it did. Good. Pitch, give me stuff. Trade power. Call. Nay bad. And nail out of cost. Get you home. It's a war against Timmy incoming. Mm, that was my marriage to Orissa. How interested am I, am I in that? I think I kind of want to keep this up. Um, I am 31, you are 56. 
I have loose lips. Ah, uh, yes, uh, just offer that merch. I think that's all right. Sure, I'm gonna keep paying the dip, but I uh, will will live. Which cannot be said of our poor poor leader there. That's unfortunate. They were really good. I mean, I don't know which one died, but they were all really really good. <laughs> so yeah, what did that do to my empire size thing? Eight fifty two. Not bad. And what did it do to the size of my capital? How big are we better? 48, so one more pillage. That's almost certainly gonna get us to the 50, which we're gonna need, I think next age. I think it's next age. But for now, we're at the end of another episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, then that like button is not too far away. Neither is the subscribe button, nor the comment section where you can go to comment on things. So, I know it's uh, flabbergasting, but it's uh, actually a thing you can just do for free, in fact. All you need is a YouTube account, go down there, comment on stuff, and you're done. Um, yeah, so go ahead, do that. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and see you folks the next time.